Right guys, uh, camera's back, uh, the camera's back out in action. Uh, start that again, eh? If I don't trim it, not start it again, but yeah. Right guys, uh, camera's back out in action. Uh, got a bit of battery. Uh, what I've got to do now is, <coughs> got this tank and I've made the patches to go into this. I didn't film it, I think I were busy helping my Uncle Andy yesterday, do a table, do his, sort this fairing out. Uh, a couple of customers in as well, so I just fiddled with them while I were while I were talking. And yeah, that's gonna go in that side, that right hand one. Well that in. Got a left hand one for that one. I'm gonna weld that in. And I've also got this oil tank here. And I've got a piece to go in that somewhere. God knows where it's gone now. Uh, when I find it, I've shaped a piece though, it's not in it. So there is a piece knocking about that I've shaped for this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tack it all up. But I've noticed, I might be able to do this one as well. They've got some dents in these tanks. And I've just sorted one out. They were a big dent in it here. That bit. And I've just put it on my bar and I've knocked it back up. It's not like, it's not perfect, but it's better than it were. So my next one is I'm going to work on that dent. And then I'm going to work on that dent. And basically, because there's an all in there, I can actually get my bar into that. So if I show you, just point me around here. I've got that, my metal bar. I've always got a metal bar in that vice. Uh, and what I'm going to do, oh, this is what I did for the last one. Slide that along there like that, and then just work it. Try and get that bar on, didn't. Which will go, I can see it now, fill a cap. I just need to hammer it a bit there. Which is tricky, it's still tricky, but I can just get a bit of it out, it just means a bit less filler. There's, there's a little bit more there, but there's one down there and I don't know. <clears throat> I'm not going to go mad on it because I could be there or whatever, there's some up there at the front. I have got some bits that will go in there, but... See, I could just be there, and it's dipped it all over the shore, but I'm just going to try and take these bigger ones out. I've nearly got that one out. It's just a case of trying to get that in the right place. Feel when it's in the right place because it won't over it, but actually, it were easier than that. You can see down that filler hole, it's about there.
slowly get in there can't really see it but yeah they were didn't in the top here that's gone the didn't there's nearly gone I'll probably leave that now just put a bit of filler in it was quite a deep in and then that big scrap's coming up see you just want to get it so it's enough that it just wants a little skim obviously I want skimming out a little bit it's been dinked here with handlebars uh, <coughs> It just says putting a ton of a ton of body filler on it, doesn't it? Or even if he puts it back together, it'll if he just leaves it as it is, it's, it'll be better without as many dints in it. But yeah, it's trying to get them last ones out are going to be tricky. Uh, yeah, no idea to be honest, no idea. I was just throw a look in every bar then. You could have seen me thinking, could have seen smoke coming out of my brains. Uh, this is, I've, I've got uh, my own XS650 over there and it's got a tank and a seat on it. Battery's running low, so better cut this shot. It's got its own tank and seat on it. I'm at this stage where I've just got the last little bits of dints to knock out of it and I think, whew, I don't know how much more to do. I mean, we'll just leave it as it is. I'm a bit of a fan of dints. Uh, just because they look authentic, don't they? Makes the bike look like it's been used. So yeah, don't know. I'm mad to go on it. You can just keep going forever and ever and ever until it's perfectly smooth, but it's got a lot, it's got a lot of flipping spatter all over the front and everything. Right, what I'm gonna do is I'll finish this up so that we're on a fresh, fresh battery. I think I've got one on charge of, it's on charge and it's on green. So we'll get that off. Uh, I'll just do a bit more dinting and then, then we'll, I'll set it up here, but we'll point it down there. Uh, and I'll just weld these bits in and then we're done. Out of here, put this all on. Uh, put it all on bike, arrange for the customer to pick it up. Sort out a price as well. Sorting out price is always the hardest thing. Wow, uh, no idea on that one neither. Obviously, if you keep going on this price, just keep going up and up and up and up and up and up. But I had a weird fringe going on, but it's nice. The shadow off this in it. Uh, still got a weird fringe going on, but yeah. So then I can just get this finished off. Got to go and pick Tommy up from airport tomorrow. Uh, so tomorrow's another dick about day. Thursday, I might be able to do a little bit on Thursday. Then I'm not going. We're going to stag doing Wales, so I'm not back until. Until Tuesday again next week. It might be in a Monday. Might be in a Monday. But definitely Tuesday. So that point, probably start that beamer. But I want to have this done, get this done before I go away. So tomorrow morning, before I go to the airport, I'll come in, do a bit. Then Thursday. Well, it should be flipping done by then. It shouldn't, it shouldn't take me at all. It's, it's half a day's work here. I might have it done by the end of today. Uh, Thursday, start my bike. Just wait up, wait up before I go away and then actually start it when I come back next week. So this week's been a bit of a write-off to be honest with you. You, just, you have them every now and again. You, you, you think this week's gonna be a write-off. What I'm gonna do is just do invoices. 
reply to me emails. I'm going to go and do that soon, go make some phone calls, go on this phone calls, 15 of them, isn't it? Uh, do that, just sort all your up minute, because you just think this, this week's not going to go to plan anyway, so might as well just do all the bits that take hour, take an hour, an hour, an hour. So you tend to just do the little jobs and stuff like that. So instead of starting a big job and then having to keep breaking off it for all different appointments, people come in, picking bikes up, dropping bikes off, sorting all your money out and stuff. I just leave them until I can just go, right, and turn my phone off for a week, not replying to any messages. All I'm going to talk to is the camera. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so we'll, we'll do that next week. Once Tommy's gone, I'll flip and crack on with another bike. So yeah, I'm just going to finish de denting this out, weld it up, I'll, I'll film welding it up and then we'll, we'll do a last great reveal again. I'll speak to you in a bit. Right gang, we're back on. Uh, I need to stop saying right gang because I edit these videos up a little tiny bit, stitch them together and I, annoys me that a little bit every time, <laughs> uh, every four minutes I do a right gang. Uh, but yeah, I, I've not sussed out how to stitch the two together yet, but we'll just, I'll just leave it as it is I think. Welder's on, TIG welder's going, so it's making a bit of noise. That fan bit there might give you a bit of echo, but who knows, need to stop looking at the screen. Uh, basically, I've got these little bits cut, done, and we're ready to weld them in. I've done my phone calls, I've whatever I were doing. Uh, so I'm gonna get mask on, get gloves out, Torch on, helmet, gloves, got a rod. I'm just going to tack them in place, so I'll drop camera down and we'll, we'll get them tacked up. Let's get that like that. Can you see? Yeah, get these to that. Show you, can I? Got these. That says right on it. I marked an R on here. One of them's slightly bigger than the other one. So. One of them drops through and one of them doesn't drop through. One of this one's harder to get in, I think, but when it's in, it's perfect. I can't remember if I went that way in or I went, slid it in like that. Might give it a tap up bench. Oh fucking hell! There we go. We're in. We're not in. It does go in that as well? Because I've had it in. I know I've had it in because it was hard to get out. This one's left one. This one's the left one. That one does fit in. Basically, I'm just going to tack it on that back edge because these corners want hammering into corner as well. So I just whack them in with hammer before I get to it. Tack it all in place and then just tap that up like that. Instead of me trying to get it so it's a perfect fit now. I don't know if you can see that. You can see it now, can't you? Yeah, them rounded corners, they don't go in up there, do they are up there. So I just end up whacking that up into the corner like that. But once it's all tacked in place, we'll tack that edge, we'll tack this back edge on first. And then once that's held in place, it won't drop through. And I might tack the front edge here where my thumbs are, that bit. And then what I'll do then is there's a bit of a gap on this top one. So I'll just tap that across when it's all warmed in place and then tack, tack this one down, tack it all the way around, grind it off so it's all level. So it's sticking up, it's got like it's a little bit proud, but that'll help me get a tack on. Same on this back, all the edges are sticking up a little tiny, tiny, tiny amount. So get that done like that. But yeah, this, this one here was tricky as to get in. And I know it goes in, so I'm just going to tap it on edge of bench. Let's see now. Yeah, over there on car next to me, brew. Just gonna square it up a bit. Get back around here. Still tight, but. Oof, nearly.
Oh, that happens a lot. I'll probably breathe in dead heavy then. That, that, it fits in there, but it won't fit in at the moment. It's annoying. I say I don't want to get stuck in. Right, come on. Oh. Change of attack. That, that right hand one fits in that left one better than this, and this one's that one's too small to fit in here for some reason. Don't know why that's altered. Well, it's probably because the corners have been welded up before the corners were a bit more relaxed. It won't, it won't touch on the back. It's annoying. And it did fit in there like a glove. Right guys, well I'll fucking pause you because battery will run out, won't it? I'll make a couple more adjustments to these and then I'll get them in place and we'll just weld it up because I can faff about with that all flipping day. It, it wants shaping about, knocking about a bit, so I'll just knock it about, I'll pause you for a bit and then we'll come back. Right guys, that was just a camera test. The just, camera's just had a bit of an issue fit. Uh, said that car couldn't be used. I was going to show you it well. Talking you all through it. There were seven videos on now, and now there's only four. So, I don't know, might have missed all that. <laughs> this is the problem with being an amateur f f photographer, innit? Amateur photographer, videographer, vlogger. Who knows, exhaust maker. Uh, so, yeah, might have missed all that. So if you've not got it, you've not got it. If you've got it, you've got it. Let's have a quick look at it. This is this is. I've just recorded all me welding that up, and I took it off the stand to show you this part, just to show you that we're reasonably neat, reasonably neat. It's not going to be the prettiest because it's hard work welding up an old tank. But yeah, the reasonably, you wouldn't even notice that quick skim up. Or just just leave it as it is. I'd leave it as it is. Uh, what I need to do, I just need to finish it off by welding down there, across there and up there, but it's a little bit trickier than welding that top edge. So, I'll not film myself doing that. Well, just in case it's a waste of a film again. <laughs> but yeah, I'll I'll weld it up, I'll show you, and then I'll, I'll set camera up and we'll do oil tank again together, uh, see if that records. Yeah, just one of them. You're never going to know, I might get on, there might be seven videos, but at the moment it's only showing four. For some reason, it errored. Just error. That's all I can say. Don't know nothing better, just error. Uh, so, 
yeah, I'll pack it away, we'll get it back out again. I'll do this tricky one. I'm gonna have to sit down to do this. Sit down and put the tank in way at camera, so no point in even showing it. Uh, yeah, finish it off, I'll see you soon. Right, let's go. We've got uh, one last little bit to do on this grump, and it's to weld up that hole in that oil tank. I've done the petrol tank, petrol tank's on the bike, and it looks fine, all gaps are good. Uh, double checked it, fitted on. So I'm just going to film this because I think we missed filming the tank. I'm going to tack it all in, grind it back, weld it round. Uh, then we'll be done. We'll go and have a look, see if it'll fit. This 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 one should be harder to fit. If if it don't fit, what I'll do once I've got the patch welded in, I'll warm it up, dent it down a little bit. But it, it'll probably go in. I just I've not checked it on the bike, so I've made made the insert. That's going to be my little tin insert. I'm going to tack that in there, like that-ish, that might be the wrong way, no that's right, I'm going to weld it in like that, and then yeah, let's say we'll have a, have a look on bike, see if it fits, so that's my one last little thing to do now before I go to the airport, pick Tommy up, uh, so we'll get that down there, get that filming like that, I don't know if that's good enough, no, hold on, hold on, Whew, no idea what's going on there. That'll do it, won't it? That'll do it. Right, we're going to leave it like that. I'll get the TIG out, TIG's on. Leave it about on the same setting as yesterday. Pick gas on. Earth wires out. Get my gloves on, take my bob hat off. This might be the same as the last one, that petrol tank. It might be really tricky to get it tacked together, but if I just leave the camera rolling this time. I was stressing out with that petrol tank. I had to stop the camera at one point because the insert kept on falling inside. So another thing I've already done on this, you know, I didn't in it there and I've just put it on bar and just knocked that back to some shape. Same, it's not perfect, but it's good enough to put a skim over. It's a shame that he's gonna have to take that paint off, but I'd, you could possibly leave it now as it is. But I think he'll probably skim it. I think it'll probably look like a new one when it's finished. I don't really know. It definitely wants a new bit of that greeny blue paint putting all over it. So that's gonna go in there like that. I just haven't decided which what, ang what angles I'm gonna do when I'm, when I'm tacking this. Where it'll sit right, I've not tried that out yet. Oh, I nearly dropped it in. I think I would just get it sat nicely on that top edge there and then wants to be something like that. I'm just gonna tack it there, tack it there, I think, so far. I find my metal rod. Right, one, one more, put one more on it. I think we've got a bit of a, yeah, I can see it there. It's touching up there. So we'll put another tack on there and then I'm going to tap it to get it into corners a bit more. There's a few gaps.
Right, put some more tacks on now, so that's, that's fitting better. And then I've just got one big gap there to fill up on back. You can't really see it on camera, I don't think. Which spread to happen, it happened not last one, but just where it's, it's a little bit out of shape. Right, get in there. Now, now to do a trim with grinder. Just just trim off the excess with grinder. So just get flat pad in there and just grind it back a little tiny bit. The overhang, it acts like a bit of like a filler if you have a bit of an overhang. But if you have too much of an overhang, you have too much filler. Oh, my phone's ringing. Right, I need a bit more in that corner. A bit more. A 20 ton screw press, right? Bolted it all on, it won't fucking move, but I'm going to find a different way of moving this. But it won't move with 20 ton, I ain't going to fucking move with your hand. No, no. Right, guys, I just had to go and help at car garage then for a bit, uh, help putting a gearbox in. So there's a little bit, I'll, hopefully I'll trim that video back, but if I don't trim it back, then you've just got me and Steve talking about a gearbox, I think. So, uh, what I'm going to do now, I've grind that back, I'm going to go around, I'm going to weld it along here, weld it along the top and then do the fiddly bits down the sides. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it, uh, or what you'll be able to see. Might get my chair out, a little chair. I'm probably going to need a new rod at some point. Back up here, and this top corner is going to be tricky. The bottom corner is going to be tricky. The fact that it's got paint on it's tricky. It's not uh, It's not arcing up.
Right, that's one bit done. Uh, my welding rods run out, so I'm going to go and get another one. That's going to be a lot harder to weld, I think. Just the angles, the angles on that are a bit hard. And the fact that it rotates round and down and up and... Right, that's welded again. Uh, just the tricky bits to do. Which are even more tricky because the same thing because they're uh, they're just in an awkward place. I know you can't see that, but let's see if I can get you to see it there. You can see a bit of it, can't your battery's running low, so to be honest with you, I'll just what I'll do is I'll pause it again. We'll get you off there. I'll show you what I've done. Basically, yeah, I've welded it down that stretch. I've welded it up that stretch. So I just need to go down there now. I need to go across there and down there. That. What we'll do, we're going to fit them both on bikes. So I'll save the last little bit, bit of battery for that. <coughs> but I'll cough that word out then. Uh, yeah, save the last little bit of battery for that. We'll go and put it on there because you see the tank's on. So we'll get the oil tank on, get it back out, put all bits on it, take a photograph, put it back away, job done. Right guys, we're done. Finished completo. Uh, all welded up. Nice, nah, can't really see it. Focus focuses on my face, doesn't it? Don't focus in on fingers, so I'll spin it round and we'll go and get it on bike. That's all we need to do now at the moment is just go and fit that and see what it looks like when it's on. And hopefully it'll clear everything. So yeah, just a nice little patching. It's got a it's got a nice, real nice shape to it that, so hopefully it'll look good on bike. Uh, bike's over there, I've got it out. So if I get my tripod again. That you on tripod and we'll go down there and we'll have a look at it. I'll go and set this up somewhere close. Uh, we'll see what it looks like when it's on. So it's gonna go in that empty space there. Yeah, uh, I've got some nuts and bolts for it. Just want to check that that's tight, this exhaust not here. Cause I started taking it off that way and then I couldn't get down to the bottom one down there, so... Uh, 
when customer comes on that exhaust pipe to be fair solid. Which it is, it is now, it is now. So put this on here. Yeah, that, that goes into there. It looks good. That's just like where that bolt hole is. There's that one. I remember this one being there, down here being tricky. It's tricky to get it in. Right, more than enough room. Should we have a look? So that's how that gap's looking there. That's what the customers, the customer scalloped that out to start off with. And then I've just patched it in with a sheet. And if you look, yeah, more than enough room round there, all the way around there. Nice little gap. You'll obviously you'll have the seat over that, so you won't see as much of it as you can see there. It just fits in nicely. The weld's probably neat enough that it doesn't need no work doing on it. And just leave that as it is, that weld. Just to show that it's been altered. And then, underneath here, I don't know if you can see underneath there. That's roughly where the, the tank cutouts were. You can see that across there and back again. It was to clear this. That sits up inside the tank. And there's enough room to get your fingers over the top of that. So that, that fits lovely as well. We'll go and have a look at that on the other side. You can actually see it cut out on back side over there. We're going have a quick walk round it because that is it finished that means I can speak to the customer now work out a price for it and arrange for him to come and pick it up so the pipes are all on nice and tight that bit there is that class bolt here on front that little clamp that's holding them two pipes in front nice and tight that back Silencers on, it's on tight enough. It wants a little knocking because them collars have come off a little tiny bit, so it just wants knocking down or knocking in a little tiny bit. Probably just wants slacking it off and giving it another wiggle before I tighten it up. But yeah, and then that's the, the other cut out there you can see. The light's not very, very good, but yeah, it's going across there and back down just so that that fits up inside, inside the tank there. So yeah, that, that's all I'm going to do now, is I'm just going to slacken that exhaust pipe off, wiggle it in, tighten it up, and it's done. Happy days, another one done. On to Beamer next, I think.